With the front of the vehicle removed, you can see the major hoses you will want to check or replace. Note, you do not need to remove the front of the car to perform this work. This is strictly for demonstration purposes. The coolant hose to the radiator and thermostat pump is indicated by the red arrow. The hose to the radiator and flange to engine, green arrow. And the hoses to the oil cool adapter piece, yellow arrow. The hoses are connected to the radiator by both a quick coupling piece as well as a traditional hose clamp. If you are changing the radiator hoses, please follow the link provided at the end of this video for coolant flush and drain before you begin this work. To release the hose from the quick coupler, pull on the release spring, yellow arrow, and wiggle pull it from the coupler, red arrow. The lower hose is also attached to the radiator by a plastic clip yellow arrow that just unclips. The lower radiator hose attaches to the thermostat housing. There is a fair amount of work you need to do to get access to it. Follow the link provided at the end of this video for replacing your thermostat and it'll show you what to remove to get access to the hose and clamp. With everything removed, squeeze the hose clamp, red arrow, and remove it from the thermostat housing, making sure that if you have to remove the dipstick tube to give you better access, that you cover the opening, yellow arrow, to prevent any coolant remaining in the hose from getting into the engine. The upper radiator hose is removed by releasing the traditional hose clamp, red arrow. With the radiator out of the car, you can get a better view of the quick disconnect coupler. If you are replacing the hose and coupler, you do not need to remove the radiator. Just release the retaining spring, red arrow, and pull wiggle the coupler from the radiator. Use caution as these parts are plastic and have seen a lot of heat cycles, which can make them brittle. This photo illustrates the flange where the upper radiator hose, green arrow, oil cooler hose, yellow arrow, and the hose to the heater core, red arrow, meet at the flange that joins them to the engine. You can see the corrosion on the heater core line. This should be cleaned up before installing a new hose. If you need to replace any of these hoses, please follow the link provided at the end of this video on coolant temperature sensor replacement for the work you need to perform to access this area. All of these hoses are held in place by traditional clamps and have markings on the hose to assist in placement. The hoses on the oil cooler are held in place by traditional hose clamps, red arrows. This is a very tight area to work in and is best approached from below. The overflow hose to the coolant reservoir is located on top of the reservoir and is attached by a traditional hose clamp, red arrow. The supply line is located on the bottom of the reservoir, red arrow, and depending on the orientation of the clamp, may be able to be removed with the reservoir in place. If not, please follow the link provided at the end of this video for removal and replacement of your overflow reservoir tank. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.